wife missed it. You missed it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bad enough. All right, so it is. Excuse me, I, I, I need a drink. It's, yeah. it's noon somewhere, right? So the next presentation is called Portrait of Queens, History and Analysis, a Picture of the Year. Please welcome Barry. I'm trying to make this quick because I know everyone wants to have lunch, so I'm trying to make as fast as possible. Um, my first and only remark about this presentation is that that presentation was supposed to be a two-people presentation, as you can see down. But the other guy, that's the tech guy, that's the one who explained the script for you, he couldn't make tweak mania, so you stuck with me and I don't program, so technical question, don't ask me. <laughs> um, that's the picture of the year. That basically is the picture of the year of this year. And that's what we're going to talk about this year. Um, that's the first. The second one, that's another picture of the sun. And the third one, that's a very technical picture of a light breaking, like this high, highly difficult to take a picture like that. Uh, and the guy who do that kind of picture, every year he becomes finalist in picture of the year because every year he gets a picture like that. Um, so those are just general, um, there's a general examples of how we make the picture of the year. Uh, and I'm actually going to show you the numbers, like how, how, um, sorry, I got distracted. Um, the number of picture of the year is like that. We have seven, seven editions. We started in 2006 with 351 pictures and like 20 people, will, 20 people make the commission and 500 people voting. Uh, so far, counting the seven ads together, we have more than 5,600 5, pictures. Those are the seven editions combined. Like last year alone was 988 pictures who were voted for picture of the year. 32 languages, the contest is translated every year in more than 20 languages. Last year alone, 32. 400 votes in the second, uh, the second round, in the first round, that's many more, and the people who do that are actually seven people. Like, from the seven, only three are with Mania, and then the only one that's here I can actually point to her. Um, that's the rules. Uh, that's it's last year rules. We make the rules every year, so every year is different. And those are last year, so I'm not sure if they'll be the same this year, but it'll be something similar to that. You need to have 75 edits in any given project. It doesn't need to be Commons, doesn't need to be English Wikipedia. can be simplified Chinese Wikipedia for all I care. You just need to have 75 edits somewhere and single login account because we need to actually verify that you have 75 edits somewhere. And you need to be registered in the year of reference. Like, we are in 2013. And the picture of the year we had this year in January was 2012. So you need to have an account registered until 31 December 2012. This, if you register account one day in the last day of the year and made seven five minutes, and this day you can vote. Uh, only federated pictures on Wikimedia Commons on Wikimedia Commons can participate. That doesn't include German, English, French, and any other any other, other Wikimedias who has. Uh, feature right picture systems. The only the only the ones from Commons can participate, and all of them can participate. Doesn't matter if it's a combination of 20 pictures and nominate bo both 20 pictures. That means that the 20 pictures is going to be participating in, in picture of the year. We have two rounds because 1,000 pictures is difficult to people for evaluate. The first one we separate four categories, like um, panoramas and buildings and people and animals and you vote in those categories. The best one of those categories, like the two best ones, and the 32 pictures, well, 36 this year, 36 most voted pictures goes to round two, and in round two you only have one vote. You need to actually choose one of those many pictures, and the one with more votes becomes picture of the year. That's an example. That's actually, you see this one is very mixed. That's not actually a category. Uh, selection, but that's how they do, like, you have, like, if make a noise, I'm very sorry, but I'm going to touch here. Uh, 
told you. <laughs> so here you get the information for the, for the picture in question. And if you want to vote, you just need to click here. It doesn't leave the page, doesn't change anything, just record your vote. It would, I was trying to find that, but the script is off right, right now, so I couldn't get. Um, just show here, yeah, get the mouse back. You will show here, your vote is, is, is saved. And here, change the color. That's how it does. And you can vote for all of them if you want, if it's round one, of course. Uh, that's the vote counting round one. Um, let's remind that you can vote for more than one picture in round one. So it's not the number of people voting, it's not, it's not I mean, the name of vote, the number of votes. You can see that like for 2000 and 2010 was the first time we tried the script. We have a script of picture of the year now. And 2010 was the first time we tried it. 2011, the guy who actually wrote the script was offline, so we had a problem. And that's last year. Actually, I need, we need to make a different chart because if you actually do a very scaled chart, it would not fit. So, and that's the number of people voting. That's round two. So we are allowed one vote, one vote on people. So four thousand people, three point three, but four thousand. Uh, and as you can see, we have the peak in two thousand and ten and drop in two thousand eleven, as usual. And then there's the secret, that's the technical part, and I'm very sorry if I say something that's very stupid. If someone uh, who is a program in JavaScript is here, I'm apologizing right now. So that's the script. When you log into Picture of the Year, 20 page, you'll see like some sort of, uh, you see a script that say, you welcome to Picture of the Year, you're loading. And that's how, they, that, that's how it happens. And like I said, I'm not a programmer, so I have no idea what's here. <laughs> and by the way, I'm not supposed to do that part of the presentation, so I'm actually apologizing 10 times because I'm not supposed to be here doing that. Uh, and that's how it happens. So, why do you need machine translation? Because when you count like 4,000 people voting in that second round, the first round is even more than that, when more than 100,000 votes, if you do by hand, you take like three months to each round, so it kind of makes impossible because when you finish count the first round, you pre pretty much need to start the next picture of the year. So we need machine translation because they actually help us with the number of votes, the number of people voting, and the candidates who is going to be the actual count the vote for us, the, the, the script is everything. And the most, most important part is because we don't accept people for other projects, so we need to actually have something who checks that they are eligible for, to do that. If you do by hand, exactly, you will try that in 2011 and to see what happens with the numbers. <coughs> it's JavaScript. Um, it's directly in the browser, it's not actually, uh, we don't download anything, it's just in the browser. It makes a little slow. If you're actually going to open a very large gallery, it does take like three to five minutes to open because the large gallery last year, they had like 500 pictures in each gallery, so that was very hard to do it. That's why we actually encourage people to not open the large galleries, only the small one who has 20 or 30 pictures each. Um, and it's open source, of course, because we need to put in common, so it needs to be open source. Uh, the script does everything for us. We do the rules, the script to check everything. They check if you're eligible. It checks which set of thumbnails you want. And I'll back to that after. Uh, we, we actually send you a different version of the page every time you come there. So it doesn't, uh, the first picture who gets featured don't have an uh, unfair chance because everyone will see that, no one will see the last one. Uh, you can control how do you see and if you want to change anything. It's actually controllable, that's not the part that they, not everyone knows what it is. And it's convenient because you don't need to actually change page. You don't need to change page. You can actually click in 10, um, 10 images in one page, vote for the 10 of them and don't leave the page at all. Uh, actually, this script was much much of the API of commons is used like all the time. And because of that, that's why it takes so much time of, uh, of the job. Sorry, but that would make a noise. Uh, 
That's why it takes so much time because the major week, so the major week API is very slow. It's very. I'm very sorry. I can't touch here. Every time I touch here, it makes some noise. I'm sorry. Uh, and the the only way that we can make to make to fit everyone. Uh, and the Commons API is down. That's Commons Week Media API PHP. If you want to find it, actually there's a link for the for the script as well, but it's not in this page. It's another one. So that's how it works. Um, there is an easy way, a difficult way. The easy way is if you log in with an account that's eligible in Commons. If it is, the script just go to your contributions, check if you have 75, and that's it. And you are eligible to vote. And it enables the, the ballot for you. If it's not, if it's not eligible in Commons, you actually need to make an API query, go check every single of your accounts in SLU, see if any of them has uh, the the ability to vote and never return to you. That makes, of course, it slower and takes a little bit more of time, but like 30 seconds, not much. Um, Jesus. That's how you resize the thumbnails. I, I'm sorry, that's not me. It's just something that's making noise in here. Um, you see, before we did the thumbnails with three different pages. We had one for small thumbnails, that was 200, 250, and one for 500, and another one for 750. Uh, but the problem is that even those two thumbnails are not exactly the one you want to see. You might want to see all very small, because you can actually check the pictures. You want, just want to see which one is beautiful. And you might be a professional photographer who wants to check every single feature of the picture, and wants that in like 2,000 two thousand pixels. And that doesn't fit in one. So what we descriptive did is that actually we put our thumbnail size. You can put in any number there that you work. Of course, if you put a large thumbnail or a large number with a large gallery, you would take, need to wait a little. But that's your problem. Uh, and that, that's the part of the API that makes that it works. Okay, that's the part. I don't know if everyone knows that part, because you know doesn't make much difference for one person alone. But when you see the gallery of picture of the year, you see a randomized gallery. Like we place everyone for the order of their their filtered, but you don't see in that order. You see in a randomized order, but. Everyone sees in a different order, and every time it goes to that gallery, you see the same order you got the first time. So if 10 people go there, you see every 10 people, you have 10 different versions. But if you every time come back to that gallery, you see the same version you saw the first time. Why is that? Because if you voted, but didn't vote for all the pictures, or didn't saw all the pictures in the gallery, you can come back later, and don't have the problem to lose a picture because it was randomized again. Um, that's how you find the, the, how you control the script, the user part of the script. Um, that you can check actually in your gadgets. In Commons, there is a page, there is a link who goes there. When, when the script is enabled, you can go there and check. And it's only enabled when, put, when the picture of the is running, so it's only possible to see in January, February. Um, that's how. Language is there because everything is localized. So if you want to choose a language, you need to put the not all languages are available, but you accept translation of everything. So if you want to translate, please talk to me after. Um, if there is a state that shows out, okay, which part of, of picture of the year we are. It checks if you are eligible. It only checks you once. So that's the good part. It doesn't need to check you every time it goes there because it starts and knows that you are eligible in some part, somewhere. Uh, checks your votes. Here doesn't have because that person didn't vote, but if you had a vote, would have a list here of all the pictures you vote. Like I tried to get that for mine, but it was too long and there was no way I could put that in the script, so it doesn't work. And around two you see the picture as well. If you want to change, you just need to put new update. You can go there and remove the votes for anyone any one of your vote. And vote again, but then you need to go to the gallery. And here you can actually remove the randomized seed. But the problem is that if you do the randomized, if you remove that, it will also, the script will not know for which pictures you vote. Doesn't remove a vote, 
but the script doesn't know anymore if you voted or not. So you might vote twice for the same picture, which is not allowed, and we actually struck both of the votes. So. Okay, so we are in a wiki, and after all that's a common presentation, so there need to be some pictures. Um, and the biggest problem we have with any vote, any vote that's on, on a wiki is edit conflict, because everyone votes at the same time. We have a one week period of time to vote, and that's very high, very slow. And the first round, especially, there is a lot of people voting, and there is a lot of edit conflict. The biggest part is that we, the script doesn't have, because the script, if three people is voting for the same image at the same time, he will process each query at one time. So it doesn't create any edit conflict. You doesn't know that your vote is waiting, but is waiting and will be processed soon. Uh, by the way, that's a picture from the US government. It actually wins or oh, gets in finalists of part every year as well. Um, that is how, see, you can actually change. That's a very, um, how to customize the system. In commons, use that one. That's how we use in commons. That's the statistic stuff for commons. We use that value. But if you people want to actually use that same script for someone else, you can choose any of the icons and you can make them very, but I will come to that later. So that's all. No. The script also check if you block. Because not every single, not for every single vote that's important. For commons, for example, it's not important. But some, for some votes, it's necessary to not be blocked in any week. And if that's necessary, they check the script check for you. Um, the script make a check user, and let's put that in very big. Uh, because if you are in a shared computer and someone who voted with the same uh, with the same IP you did in less than one hour before, you cannot vote again. Even it's another account. It doesn't let you for an hour. And also, you can actually vote several times without opening several windows. That's the best part of it. And he actually asks, if you are an IP and you want to vote, he will ask you, please sign up to vote. If, uh, avoid that IP votes that are horrible and takes a lot of time to figure out who voted. And you can customize it, like I said, I actually put the presentation down in order. Now it's supposed to be the part of the customization. Um, you can change actually the name of the app as well, because we call pot app because it's a picture of the year app. So if you have an, if you want an app for the know election of the president of the United States, fine for me. Uh, you can change the translation, the functions, you can change everything. The only problem is nothing is documented. So you actually, oh, you need to be very good in JavaScript and go check everything up. Oh, we spent like three days bugging uh, high and that, that's what I did. Uh, okay, so if you want something that's not here, please talk to me or talk to Hannah. If you want the app, all the picture of the to do something that it doesn't do yet, please talk to us. The stuff that we already know that should do, but doesn't do, is here. Um, that should be able to support any kind of vote system. It doesn't do. It only counts for majority. It should be able to vote for any kind of water. If, you, if people vote for border, border elections, for border for the foundation, you people know that's not for the one who gets the highest number of votes who wins. There is a different system, and that kind of system doesn't get in this script yet. But we know that, and we're trying to fix it. Actually, I'm not trying to fix it. Hi, Mr. Fix. And should contain everything. Should also contain a way to change, like a separate way to check uh, recent changes. Uh, every single, every single edit made by the script should be able to be in a different part of uh, of recent changes to prevent vandalism. But that's not possible yet. Because all we mark as a vote, all we mark as a user, and that's not possible to do in any other way yet. And point that we didn't cover, 
ABUS filters, we have in commons like five or six ABUS filters in ABUS for picture of the year to avoid double votes, to avoid um, pe people voting for a picture that is more than once in second round or more than one time in the same picture in the first round. We have to avoid people who are blocked in commons to vote. We have to avoid some uh, some other problems that we had like five or six different and we didn't put in the presentation because it would be too big. Uh, we also didn't cover the title backlist, everything that you try to create a pay, uh, page with the name picture of the year, pot, or anything related to the contest during the contest will not be allowed and we have that here and the script does that but it couldn't put in the presentation. Uh, and we also have all the pages, if you actually check any page for picture of the year, and I can actually do that on the internet in five seconds, you see that none of the pages has anything on it. Everything what they do is just a uh, transclusion of someone else, some other page. Why is that? To avoid, since the script takes so much of a computer, we're trying to avoid that, and we actually, the script works very well with those kind of transclusions, but they could put here because they take too much time. Here is an example of someone else who used your script. And they are not here anymore, right? They are at left. Yeah, so, but the actual election for the new Wikipedia logo was made through the same script. Um, here is being used in Commons in the picture of the year. And uh, here is being used in, in the, see the difference that that's the one there that's completely different one for the other. And by the way, I hate that logo, I don't know if they want, but if you want, I'm very sorry for your voyage. <coughs> I needed to say sorry. And thank you, I'm Brazilian, so that's thank you in my language. Uh, if people have any questions or something like that, you could ask right now. If you don't, please let me go. <laughs> no questions? Tell me. We are voting in commons, and actually the picture of the year, let me actually show you. The picture of the year, it uses like, if you have 900 pictures to vote, we have actually 900 pages for voting. So if you're going to try to vote through the... Okay, so here's the vote for picture of the year. That's the page, and see everyone supporting. So that's how they do it. You actually go make a page, and every time you go to vote for picture of the actually, no, sorry, that's not the right one. Uh, it's here, sorry. That was the election. See, you are currently not logged in. That's the script working. I see people voting. If you want to do that by hand, you would need to actually open a tab with the voting page, click put, uh, open, edit the, that page, put your name, close the page, save the page, and put back. And since in round one you can vote for at least every single picture is up, changed, so if you have 900 pictures and you want to vote for the 900, you would, need to, you would need to open 900 pages and do 900 votes. With the script, 
The only thing you need to do is, it's not a neighbor right now, so you don't have the voting part under. The only thing you want to do is just click under, and you'd show like a pop-up like that one that show quite right now because I was not logged in. And it would show up a pop-up like that saying, okay, you voted. Thank you for voting. But now you can vote for another picture. And you can actually vote for all of them in the same page. That's the, what, that's what we, we say that is make it easier for people to vote. Any other questions? What's the problem? It can be used in picture in weak loss moments? Uh, I don't think so, for a very simple reason. Uh, picture of the year is a popularity contest. Uh, yeah, the software is already used. Both use the comments and half of the script is already used for, for weak loss moments. But the problem is that the people who choose the picture of the year are common users. So one picture like that one, for example, that's beautiful technically done, but no one cares because it's just a bomb. Um, <laughs> it would never win. There is no way a picture like that will win picture of the year. Uh, but one picture like that, if it was a monument, could win weak loss monuments. Because the jury who, who votes for weak loss monuments is a technical jury. The people who vote for picture of the year are just users. Actually, as a, mem as a member of one of the Wicked World's Monuments juries last year, let me speak to that. This, you know, it, you know we determine our, our, our selections through as much of the consensus you give and take, and this doesn't allow for that. As you said, we just use the normal system of putting up pages on comments and discussing it in email and on Skype chats and things like that. Yes, but for a rough selection of like a. Yeah, for a rough. For that, there is a there is a system created by by Martin and by someone else. Uh, actually, by Nuno Tavares from Portugal, the both of them created a system that actually allow, allows you to check out the image in low resolution to uh, remove the horrible ones. So the, that's for pot. That's not that's not for picture of the year. That's for equipment. But there is a, there is both of them. Uh, and actually, they, they already told me my time is up. So. Sorry, thank you.